I tried one of the easiest Google Ads strategies I've ever found to date on this e-commerce brand right here and the results were so unexpected I ended up replicating this strategy on three other e-commerce brands and in this video I want to go over exactly how we approach with this Google Ads strategy how I implemented it the results it ended up getting and so much more which hopefully can help you implement a similar strategy for your own e-commerce brand but before we dive into each of these brands let's first go over exactly what this easy google ad strategy is now one thing you will see across all of these three brands we have here despite not being able to see the names of the campaigns is they look very similar to each other and they're very simple because that's the main goal behind this google ad strategy it's designed to be the simplest one you ever implement for your e-commerce brand and if your e-commerce brand does not work with a simple strategy like this well then the foundation that you have for your google ads account is what's the main issue essentially the way this strategy works is fairly simple it's designed to do two different things only first thing it's designed to go after cold traffic with the most important campaign type for that given brand and number two is designed to do retargeting or go after the highest quality of traffic with an external campaign approach now this is the first brand where we ended up implementing this strategy as you can see here we have one performance max campaign we have one search campaign and we have one standard shopping campaign it's a very unique approach we don't normally do something like this but for this brand we had to because this brand sells very specific products very detail oriented products and reality about all of these brands right here is not all of them are very specific i mean this one this literally sells music music related records and cds and so on and so forth this brand is more of a fitness brand and then finally this third brand it's a high ticket barbecue brand selling barbecue related products so although these niches are completely separate from each other the strategy works wonders and what i want to go over first is what kind of brand can implement a strategy like this now if your brand has products that are either very specific you're in a very specific niche where it's just the way that things work or if you run a brand where you don't have too many products i mean this brand right here at 56 products and this brand right here if we go to the product section we can see that in total within this performance max i mean we have roughly three four thousand products and then for this final brand we are going after a certain level of products not all the products that are eligible within this brand it has roughly two thousand products so anything that's below three thousand to five thousand products this strategy works wonders or if you sell something that's very very specific but essentially that's one of the main reasons why we decided to even uh, approach this brand with this type of simplicity because we wanted to keep things simple we didn't want any type of overlap within the brand and as a result we went after that pmax campaign which went after all of the general products within this brand what it had to sell but we didn't stop there because the second search campaign which is a cold traffic search campaign we introduced for some of the best selling products within the main collection and that all this campaign was designed to do is it was designed with multiple different ad copies to just go after and test different ad copies out for different types of parts essentially so if we look right here within the ad group section we have roughly 10 different ad groups running right now at any given time and all of these are going after a certain type of keyword match type so what we do is we go after phrase match and exact match with this approach we don't like to over complicate the process and do too much like too much broad match because phrase match and exact match should do the trick if you set them up properly but all we did is we gave this a decent budget to run with and Finally, we launched our standard shopping campaign, which is considered a catch-all campaign. Essentially, it's supposed to run at the highest target ROAS levels, as you see right here, and it's not supposed to be that scalable. However, it can get you a few sales, which are extremely profitable. I mean, if we see right here, in the, since February 8th, the ROAS for this catch-all campaign is at 18x, so it's definitely helping us improve the profitability for this brand. But essentially, in the beginning, the strategy didn't actually work that well. I mean, if we look right here on the first day we launched that we got a 7x ROAS which was great and on the third day we got a 51x ROAS but this was based off of $40 of ad spend on February 24th so roughly about four or five days after we had launched the strategy we made our first high ticket sale and the ROAS on that day completely blew our minds out of our brains basically because if we look right here on that day we did a 17x ROAS this brand wanted to get a 10x ROAS on the third day after that we did a 30x ROAS so clearly this strategy was working and by this time we knew that 
we could incorporate this strategy across multiple different niches across multiple different brands so that's exactly what we did and the same results in the first few days i mean the first day we got a sale here for 281 dollars and then there were crickets the next few days so this strategy as you see in the beginning it's not the best i mean it, in the beginning it might almost seem as if it's not gonna work however you get these sudden jumps and then it, things start to become more and more consistent as the algorithm starts to optimize i mean on one day we did 4500 dollars in revenue up from six hundred dollars the previous day so this is a direct indicator that the strategy is starting to work and then for this brand right here we incorporated a similar approach with just an extra brand search campaign i mean this one because it sells music we decided a brand search campaign would do the trick but the pmax campaign is doing fairly well as well it's running at a 3.35 extra rise on the first day again similar results but this brand did a little bit better on the first day it did 101 dollars in sales half of eight dollars in that spend and then the next few days it was doing mediocre it was doing okay and then things started to really tick on the fourth fifth and the sixth day for the strategy going all the way up to 800 dollars almost a thousand dollars in revenue in any given period of time but finally we knew this strategy was something that could be published and fully established with this high ticket brand right here i mean this was a brand we were struggling with heavily from the start and in the beginning with this brand we incorporated a lot of different things we incorporated a fancy strategy that's why you see this blue line all the way at the very top but it was just not leading to results and by the way that spend is very high despite not getting sales because the average order value is almost two thousand dollars for this brand so what we had to do was we had to take a little bit of a simpler approach here and this strategy was perfect for it so that's what we did and as you can see we started actually getting some consistent momentum even for a high ticket brand like this i mean it's running almost at a 4x row as we've generated roughly thirty seven thousand dollars off of just ten thousand dollars in total ad spend so this strategy it works wonders once you let it optimize once you let the algorithm really start to kick in and find you the right audience these are just four brands that we implemented the strategy on we've done it for a lot more brands and we can help your brand with similar strategy or a better one as well so if you run a brand doing fifty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see essentially how we can work together and make that happen but check out this video right here on a similar strategy we implemented like this one but in a much more drastic way to scale this brand to over three hundred thousand dollars per month in revenue